got the glory, I'm shooting my shot most times. I be scoring, do this for my city. I bring on the trophy, feel like Freddie Mercury. We are we the champions here in Los Angeles. We doing numbers. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Today we've got an AFC East matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started and we are underway from Miami. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Alert, alert, alert. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 13 yards on the game's opening play. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Devin Singletary. He played in the state of Florida Atlantic. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Allen going to throw. That's caught by Gabriel. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And this is by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear. But they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you can't go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Now on first down, Mostert stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Good play defensively. It'll be a loss of one second down coming up. Now Tua on the bootleg here. Steps away. And this one too low. So many qualities coaches tick off when they talk about, hey, what is it going to take to make an excellent quarterback? Accuracy has to rank near the top of every list. Talk about arm strength. That's great. Mobility, great. But you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they've got to face a big third down. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 38. Off of play action, tug of Iloa. That's complete. Once again, it's Kosicki. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that point from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second and nine, Tua. And that is intercepted, or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. I don't care what game it is. Everyone's always looking for an early advantage, an early break, and they almost had one there. That should have been an interception. Nice catch. Just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. He rifles one that's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. So after the INT, it's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Half 85, half 85. Play action. Now it's Allen. 
And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And well, this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. And they're going deep for Hill. And this is caught. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. When you said jumbled, they were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First do no single. Terry loses it. Another one. <laughs> hey! Turn me up. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. Short completion, just four yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. On the move to his left. Allen hit. He lost the football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds. Saved him from a turnover. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They've been starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Allen now on first down. He'll take a shot for Davis to the end zone. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, 35 yards. And the Bills have got it back to within a score. 
An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. Oh, a dangerous return, man. Mill. Mill. Oh, my God. Yeah. Maybe like, oh, no, don't. And then all of a sudden you see him break it. You're like, yeah, yeah, way to go. Yeah, sometimes you have to remind your head coach that he approved the green light for bringing it out from deep in the end zone. And that's exactly why he did. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. From the six. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Coming up on a second and six. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Allen looks to throw on third and one. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 31-yard line. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To the air, Allen. Buying time to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Give me this. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Oh, this is a great play right here by a very versatile linebacker. It's a zone defense, so it's responsible for one area of the field. And Brandon, I don't think the quarterback ever saw it. Or if he did, he saw him too late because he snuck into a great position there to pick that one off. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On play action, here's Tua. Dancing to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Looking to pass, Tua. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Vailoa. It's a first down. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm. But he was more than happy to dissect it with his legs for that first down pickup. 
A run with Mostert up the middle. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Play action. Now it's Tua. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second down, Moster. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Dolphins in front and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well, and most importantly, partner, and yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Second down, Gaskin. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Daquan Jones in on the tackle there. The end result was brute force on brute force, but think about everything that's going on if you're playing defensive tackle. You're dealing with at least one blocker across from you, trying to deal with him, shed him, and maybe even a second one before you have to try and make the tackle on the big guy. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, a 22. They'll run with Gaskin. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Again, Gaskin. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. And he'll be well short of a first down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, so a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. The 
kick by Sanders is good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. And they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Allen. Going right back to Knox, and again a completion. And he goes out right around the 39. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this. Back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. A play fake to Singletary. And now it's Allen. This to Hines on the drop-off. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. On play action, Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Allen to throw once more. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Time. Give me that shit, nigga, and I'm trying to get out of the end zone. They are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. He is going to find Hill here. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. From the gun, it's Tua. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. 
Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. He's got them down now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit the defense. They made sure to let his quarterback know. Just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. From the six. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Allen off the play fake. And a loose football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he's going to return. This hit too easy, bro. Why you ain't quit, bro? Yeah. Come on, bro.